How tracking your mood can help you improve your life. Like anything, if you're tracking your macros, your finances, or your time in the day, it will give you trends and it will allow you to analyze the things that you're doing right and the things that you need improving on. Have you ever seen a professional fighter and wonder how they display strength and courage in the face of danger? Imagine being able to step into somebody's shoes and truly understand their perspectives. It's not just a fantasy, it's a skill that we can all develop together. Get ready to explore the transformative power of empathy and tracking your mood. Seven ways to learn how to master your emotions and how to level up in life. Have you ever felt like you were losing control? You see people on YouTube and you see their successes. In this video, I will teach you how to manage your emotions. Every day can be a battle. And if you think of armor, make your wisdom as your armor. You're worth the work and the journey to reinforce your hull so that no explosion can penetrate your battleship. Stay tuned. The last one may be the most important. Manage your environment. Certain environments can cause bad behavior such as a fast sports car or a kitchen that is full of junk food, your friends, uh, where you work or where you go. For example, a club, it could be an area where you're smoking, doing drugs or behaving poorly. Maybe it affects your sleep. I got a sports car and it gave me the ability to drive it like it was a go-kart. I had to get rid of it. I bought a slow Honda. Sometimes your friends, your family, or certain people who you associate with, it could affect your behaviors. Get clear on your goals, where you want to be in terms of your mental health, your physical health. Buy real foods, don't associate with people who don't serve you. And if you think of a king on a chessboard, he's not necessarily going to be hanging out with people who don't serve him. He surrounds himself with the queen, the bishop, the rook, the knight and his pawns. Your objective is to win. You learn that I needed to cut out certain people in my life and I needed to get rid of these negative influences. And it didn't matter if they were my blood or if they were my friends. Maybe it's the job that you work, your environment, and sometimes you need to change it to be able to change yourself to grow. Cut out the foods and drinks that contain sugars and caffeines that would affect the quality of sleep that you get. Get clear on what you want, where you want to go. Talk about you and nobody else because sometimes you have to be selfish if you want it to change. Sometimes movies tell stories that you can apply to yourself and your life. My life is like a domino effect. When one domino falls, the others can fall behind. This isn't a game, even if you're being beaten or whipped, you can still rise up like dough. These tips would help me tell my younger self on how to improve. Track what you feel, and when you feel it, these data trends can allow you to become the observer and allow you to make adjustments on the trends, on things that you need to improve on. You can use a mood tracker, a whoop band. You can use your Google Analytics, a notion tracker. Numbers don't lie. Sometimes you could be telling yourself a story that isn't necessarily true. I don't want to express my emotions sometimes. Watch your thoughts. They become your words. Watch your words. They become your actions. Watch your actions. They become your habits. Watch your habits. They become your character. Watch your character. It becomes your destiny. Lao Tzu. Be aware of how you speak. I struggled with my emotions my whole life. I had a lot of pain from my mother leaving when I was six months old. I didn't want anybody to see me weak. Now, I didn't even want to express the good emotions. I blocked everything out. When I was in this state, I'm not necessarily growing and it's not normal. I had to learn to befriend myself and to focus on positives, learn how to manage and express your emotions internally and externally. You can work out to get those endorphins in, to tire your mind, spend time with your friends. Do your hobbies, things that make you happy. Work at goals on things that you wanted to improve in your life. And you can challenge yourself to give yourself drive, spark, and fire to accomplish the things that you want. And in the past, I distracted myself with games, puzzles, 
and consuming YouTube, possibly bad behaviors, and I didn't feel worthy of myself at the time. Read audiobooks and search for positive creators to help you walk on your journey. One step would allow you to walk up a mountain. It starts with one step at a time. I love driving because it was a form of escape, except that you are an emotional being. I got into a lot of trouble being emotional. Have you ever gotten a speeding ticket or unsafe lane change and lost your cool? It's something that you could be embarrassed about, but use it as a learning point, something where you can learn and change. Journal this video is a form of a shared journal. Record yourself speaking, talking to your friends or family. In society, uh, Asian culture, they don't teach you to be in tune with your emotions. Use other movies and see how those characters act and how they overcome their struggles such as the flash or a web society brandon carter talks a lot about his past about how his father deleted and iman ghazi talks about his mother and how his father wasn't in the picture you think these people are perfect but they're not and they mess up a lot these mistakes get edited out and you can edit out your mistakes as well I use this shadow work journal. It taught me to have compassion and understanding for my past and myself. It taught me how to, to love myself and to love other people and also to have understanding for my past and my parents. It allowed me to allow myself to make mistakes because that's how we grow. And it makes, it describes the whole picture instead of me only telling you about the positive aspects. If you're a Marvel fan, you would know that the incredible hockey is physically strong but he lacked mental strength and he learned later on of how to build himself i felt like i couldn't speak i had to get this dark energy out i had to drain my battery in the gym i challenge you to improve listen to this as many times as you need and create your own video track your own progress help out your friends your brothers and sisters around you like share and subscribe if you want more content like this and i'll see you on the other side peace these are side notes that I had from my coach. Sometimes you're looking for other people when you're really looking for yourself. Some people measure success in terms of dollars and some people measure it in terms of helping people or happiness. Mental peace and bliss are priceless. When you least expect success, it'll come. Certain times you can't control when you are getting success, but just put in the work and it will come. Allow great things to come into your life when you're ready. Strip away the distractions so that you can focus on what is really important. Have faith in fate, the 80-20 rule. What you do 80% of the time can determine your trajectory and only 20% of your content may be successful. And when you do get that success, the other your viewers will view the 80% of your content that didn't get that bump. All right. I'll check you guys another time.